Hi, welcome to the last and final video of this topic and module on feature generation. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain feature generation. Now that we have covered the essentials of feature transformation, we will now shift our focus to feature generation. In feature generation, we will be covering feature extraction and combination of features. Let's start by the simpler one between them which is feature extraction. Feature extraction is the process of extracting information from the original features such that the extracted feature contains the information in simpler form which can be used to increase the model performance. Let's look at some examples. Let's have a look at the column data house was sold. We can see that column is of type object. We will now define four new columns as year sold, month sold and weekday sold and date sold. To do this, we use pandas.dateTimeIndex function. This firstly converts the object column date house was sold to date time type. Now using this resultant variable time, we can extract a lot of information from the original column like weekdays, date in a month, etc. Now you might be asking, how is the weekday important to our dataset? Actually it is not, but it is very important for problems such as traffic prediction, food stock demand prediction, where weekdays can play an important role and contribute significantly to our prediction power. For example, traffic is expected to be higher on the working days as compared to the weekends. On the other hand, the food demands are expected to be more on the weekends than on weekdays. Now let's look at how each of the new columns affect the sale price. Looking at all three plots, we can clearly say that there is no significant effect of month, date of month and weekday over the selling price of the house. But in many real world problems, date time features will play an important role in determining the predictive power of your model. Now that we have talked about feature extraction, let us shift our focus to generating new features as a combination of two or more independent features. This often requires some domain knowledge because efficient combination of two features can result in improved prediction power of our model. You may recall that we derived a new column years since renovation in previous module using years of renovation variable and date of sale variable. This was an example of feature generation. You may also recall that we defined a variable luxury home in module 3 where we were learning about pandas.apply function. Now you might ask why are we interested in defining this variable? This is because it seems logical to make an assumption that luxury houses should have high sale price and being able to define that will allow us to make better prediction for the sale price of the house. The Python implementation remains the same as we saw earlier and is given on the screen for quick reference. In case you do not understand the code, it is a good time to revisit the video on pandas.apply function. Let's check whether the houses we got as luxury underscore home are really luxury or not. For this, we will simply use the pivot table function to calculate the main sale price with respect to the luxury underscore home columns and store the results in a variable called luxury. Now we will finally plot the main sale price with respect to the luxury home column. In the plot, we can clearly see that the houses marked as luxury have the mean sale price of over 60,000. Isn't that what we stated even before we implemented this logic? This, the column luxury home can perhaps take care of the unexplained outliers which we encountered during the examination of the residual plot during the linear regression implementation. I would strongly recommend you play around with the condition we used for the luxury home. Now before we wrap up the feature engineering section, note that Feature engineering methods can vary drastically from problem to problem and there is no guarantee that feature engineering will always work. But if it does, it can improve the model performance significantly. So with this, we wrap up this video, the topic and even this module. You have now completed 5 modules of this program which means you are halfway in your journey. Congratulations! You have come a long way since we started our journey of machine learning together and you can pat yourself on the back for all the progress you've made. These first five modules were the building blocks of machine learning 
and data science and in subsequent modules we would focus on advanced concepts and different algorithms we will meet again in module 6 that is dimensionality reduction module but before that you will take your module test now is a good time to revise all the concepts of this module especially the ones you are feeling a little less confident about before you attempt the module test so all the best and see you in the 6th module